Why I still think Ubuntu is the best Linux distro in 2024? Pleasing everyone all the time isn't easy, but Ubuntu is doing a commendable job. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution, and there is no denying that. However, being popular doesn't necessarily mean being the best. So what are the reasons that make me think Ubuntu was and still is the best Linux distro of 2024? The best Linux distro, what does that mean? The idea behind Linux distros is to offer an optimized pre-packaged experience for a specific workflow. Some distros are optimized for server work, uh, some cater to gamers, others focus on breathing life back into outdated systems, and so on. As such, the best distro for Sam might not be that best for Daniel, and vice versa. So what makes a particular Linux distro objectively the best? Well, my position is that if a distro performs well as an all-rounder and with minor tweaking can be optimized for different use cases, then it's the best Linux distro. And here's my argument on why I believe Ubuntu wins this title. Ubuntu makes no more user-friendly. The non-desktop environment is celebrated for its unique, modern, and clean computing experience, which omits traditional desktop icons and app launchers in favor of dynamic virtual desktops for multitasking. This layout is particularly effective for enhancing productivity on smaller screens, such as uh, 13 inches to 15 inches laptops. However, this minimalism doesn't translate well on larger desktop monitors. For example, GNOME's minimal interface can make 24 inches or larger screens feel under your side. Uh, icons are more legible on a larger screen, and so not having them doesn't make sense. Also, the space set from removing an app launcher is negligible on the bigger screen and rarely translates to getting more information on full screen apps like browser or word processors. Ubuntu addresses this scalability issue by offering a heavily customized version of GNOME that adapts effectively across both small laptops and large desktop monitors. They reintroduce desktop icons easing the transition for users coming from Windows or Mac OS environments. With direct access to icon on the desktop, important files and apps are just a click away, reducing the need to open a file manager frequently. Additionally, Ubuntu includes a unique vertically aligned app launcher or taskbar on the left side of the screen. This placement takes advantage of the more expensive horizontal space available on modern monitors, maximizing vertical space for application use. The dock provides quick access to your favorite and currently running apps and can be set to arrow height to free up screen real estate, beneficial for laptop users. As such, Ubuntu retains the modern and unique charm of NUM all the while making it more accessible. Access to a ton of software. Ubuntu's popularity means that if a developer creates a Linux app, they are most likely targeting Ubuntu first. This gives you access to one of the largest software libraries in the Linux world. Installing application is straightforward through Ubuntu Store. 
which offers a fully GUI friendly experience similar to the Microsoft Store. Of course, traditional apt commands are there for those who prefer styling apps using the terminal. That said, some niche application may not be available in the main Ubuntu repositories. In such cases, you will need to use personal package archives, PPAs, or download uh, DAP files uh, directly from developers and install them using dpkg or gdb. Warning, third party PPAs and DAP files are not verified by Ubuntu for security or stability. As such, only use these methods if you trust the source providing them. For example, you can trust the dev file from Mozilla's official website to install Firefox. Finally, discussing software availability for Ubuntu is never complete without mentioning Snaps, a proprietary packaging format introduced by Canonical the parent company of Ubuntu. Snaps are designed to be more secure and easier to manage but tend to be larger and consume more resources than traditional dev files. In my books, Snaps can be a good choice if you are using a modern system with an SSD and ample storage. Otherwise, Stick to traditional dev files via apt or explore flatback as an alternative. Stable and reliable for professional use. Ubuntu strikes a good balance between stability and innovation. It offers a reliable experience for your professional workflow. Where you rarely face bugs or hiccups, You'll also get routine updates and bug fixes addressing no issues. Coming to update, you can choose between an interim release or an LTS, long-term support, release. The interim releases come out every six months and get security updates and bug fixes for nine months. The LTS releases come out every two years and receive updates for five years, including hardware enablement updates to ensure compatibility with newer hard hardware.